hey yo welcome back to my channel i am she bang beat thank you for stopping by and if you're new to the channel welcome make sure you all hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up which is the like button it really helps the channel grow and i appreciate that because we're growing and growing together because we're friends hey friend hey bitch also make sure you all follow my social media which will be on the screen and in the description below today's video i'll be walking you through how to make an emotional beat you know hard drums with the emotional sound, beautiful piano, a little bit of guitar, a little bit of string, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? But it still hits hard. So let's get into the video. We have our logic session open, we have our screen record going. Let's get into this beat. So the first thing we have, I want to let you know, we are we are in the key of E minor. Our tempo set at 150. All right, this is the piano. Oh, I have two pianos in here actually. So this is how both of, both of them sound. I put the, the higher melody on a separate track because it's not playing throughout the beat as the chords are. The first piano is strictly the chords and the second piano is like a little top line melody that plays on certain parts in the beat. So this is the first chord, which is the E minor. The second chord is a D major, but it's in first inversion. I took the D and I put it on top right here. And so now it's spelled F sharp A D, which is first inversion of a chord. And then my next chord is a, another D major. It's spelled regularly. And I added a nine on top of that. Last chord, C major seven. Nothing too major, nothing too hard. It just added those ninth notes on top on top can sound really, really, really beautiful. And if you want to, sometimes you could change that and put the put the uh put the take the third and put it on top. And then next we have the little melody. Oh, I didn't tell y'all I use pigments on this too. Y'all know my favorite piano is Pigment Emotional Piano. And on both of them, they have the exact same uh, settings, or not settings, but they have the exact same effects on them. I had some EQ, took out that, took out uh, the bottom end, and did some cutting at 314 to 200. Added some reverb on there, took the wet down to 19. And I added some echo on there, took the weight of the echo down to 13%, took my my um took my feedback down to 16% because I didn't want it to echo too much where it kind of muddies up the mix. Then I added some retro vinyl three, turned the magnitude of it down a little bit, I added some imager. The next instrument we have, it's a sound out of uh, this is a sound out of pigment. This is really just an arpeggiated E minor chord. That's all that is. If you listen to it, it's just an arpeggiated E minor chord. If you look at the notes, it's arpeggiated. I did that for two bars and then I went down to C major. And on there, we have mm, one of my favorites, you know, but I use the space grinder preset. Then I added some effect tricks to give it that sound, some reverse, you know, some phaser and some tonal delay and of course some eq cut off that bottom end i'm gonna play without the effects on there let me show you how it sounds that's how it sounds without the effects and with the effects it adds some type of texture to it in a nice you know it is a much better vibe with the effects then here this is another sound out of nexus it's like a little uh a plug That's all it is, just single notes, just to add some nice texture and melody, add a little bit of melody, a little bit of rhythm also 
So on that, I added some chroma verb, took that bottom end off of that reverb. Wet is at 24%, density is at 60, size at 60. Took some of this down just a little bit. I didn't want it, the reverb to be too loud, but I did want to be able to hear it. On here, and so I added delay. I added a stereo delay. On the right side, I have a quarter note, I mean a half note delay, and then on the left side, I have a quarter note delay. And I turned the output mix of the delays down a little bit, even though the right is up a little bit more. I'm gonna play. Now that's that, let me play without the effects. Sounds kind of boring. So that adds not only just another melodic sound, but also adds rhythm. Down here, this is a just a random sound I found out of, out of um, Arcade. I didn't change anything on here. I just really like the sound by itself. And all I did was take out some, take out a lot of that bottom end. And I added some stereo imager on there. Here is some strings that I got out of Nexus. And I added some channel EQ, boosted around the 1200, or yeah, about the 1200. Took off some of that low end. And I added some reverb on there. I boost, boosted up my size, so to make it bigger. And I boosted up the length of the actual reverb. And I took the wet, but I took the wet of it down to 12%. Here's, here's our bass. I got that out of Omnisphere, one of my favorite bass, which is the Taurus bass. So this, with the strings, the strings in the bass are pretty, are the same thing. It is with the strings, I pitched them up higher. It's two different octaves. All right, so we have that. Oh, I didn't tell you what I put on my bass. So on the bass, we have channel EQ, of course. Took out some of that low end, took out a majority of that high end, or all of that high end. Added some overdrive on there, just to give it a little grit. And then I added some submarine from Wave, which gives you that nice low, low end. I turned my drive up and I turned the wet up on the mix. And that's all I did for that, but it was the bass guitar preset. Then I added some reverb, turn my size down and turn my length down because I didn't want it to be overpowering, but I still wanted a little bit of space in there. And then I brought my wet down to 25. And that's that. Then we have some violins. And this is just a stock plug-in from Logic Violin 2. Yes, it may say bass up here, but don't mind that. It's, I just didn't rename everything. It's mimicking the top notes of the actual chords in the piano. And that's all it's doing. It's just bringing a little accent to it. Let me show, let me, I'm gonna play it all. I'm gonna play it for you. So you can hear it. There's nothing major, but it sounds good in the beat. Do what sounds good, my friends. Okay, so on that we have some delay, I mean some reverb, and took it down to about 20%, took the length down to 530, took the length down to 530, and the size is still at 100, and on the and on the EQ, take some of that low end off of there. Now, this is just texture. That's all it is, just texture. Out of Omnisphere, what is this? Revenge of the Electric Toothbrush. <laughs> Here we have our guitar, and it's just a nice little melody. That's, I'm gonna play that with the piano so y'all can understand. That's all that is right there. On our piano, I mean on our guitar, what we added was, oh, and our guitar is out of contact, Dark Highway, as you can see right here. And I added the amp, blue, or black and blue crunch. I turned the presence up a little bit, and I took, I made the effects sync, and the depth of the effects, I turned up a little bit, just a little. And then, of course, my fave, I used some comb filter from Finisher Micro, and I turned, the amount of it down a little bit and the chroma verb and I turned the the dry down a little bit and turned the wet to 30. So I'm gonna play the guitar without the effects on there. Mm -hmm. 
Sounds kind of boring, right? Add the effects back. Now we're EA Sports. We're in the game. <laughs> Now we have this vocal sample that I got out of Splice and I added some pancake to it. Then I turned on some EQ, took out everything except pretty much the mid and some space delay. So this is that. On the drums, we have our 808. Always put your 808s and your kicks in mono. You just click over here to polygyny and go to mono. Usually it'd be on like 16 or something. Change it to mono. It's pretty much the same thing on the kick, except all I got is just the EQ. Took out some of that high, took out some of that low. Some of those lows. Cause we have our 808 making up for that. Then I have my clap. Nothing fancy to see here. Just added some reverb on there. And then underneath I added a rim which is just, I use as percussion. And next is my hi-hat. Hi-hats, I added the pancake. I added some Effectrix on here, cause you know Effectrix is the goat with hi-hat. And then we have, I put some uh, RC20 on here too, which is a short slap back. But I know I did add some 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 space in here, which is a reverb and wobble. And I, but I turned my magnitude down. And of course, you know, always change the velocity of your hi-hats. It gives it more bounce, it gives it more rhythm, it gives it more of a realistic feel. So like I route all my melodies to an instrument track right here. And what I do is I do some EQing, you know, just some more cutting. I add some stereo imager just to spread that out some more. And this right here is just the analyzer of where my, where my melody is sitting. You know, I like to see where it's sitting sometimes. And then I added some compression just to bring everything together. And nothing's peaking and all that great cool stuff. And then I added a limiter on here also to keep everything in check and keep them where I told them to be. So, and that's that. You know, it's nothing too fancy. Listen to your ears, uh, you know, like what you like and just keep making music. The more you do it, the more you, you know, the better you'll get and the easier it'll get. So that's the end of the beat. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I really, really do. And please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure you follow all of my social medias, which will be linked down below. Again, like, subscribe, and comment because we're friends and you like the video and share it. Tell your other friends to come on so we can all be friends. And yeah, so. Until next time, she bang and I am out.